Okay guys, I am about to start recording my March empties for the third time. Um, blah, 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 blah. I started, Vera interrupted me. It was easier to restart than try to merge the clips together on my jankity software situation. Second clip, I was in a little bit of an aggravated mood, so I decided to stop. And the third clip um, is here. Still not in the best. I, I'm just very aggravated because it's. I haven't filmed in probably three weeks. I decided to start to film today, and that was the one day that when I lay her down for a nap, she starts fussing and yelling across the house. It's just uh, this time in my life. I don't know. I just um, I don't have the time. It's just YouTube doesn't fit in my life at this current moment like it once did. We may get there again. We may not. I don't know. So, okay, let's get started. I'll try to be speedy. First off is the Drunk Elephant Pratini Polypeptide Cream. I feel like I'm going to be sassy <laughs> through the first half because I've already just, I just told you about it, but you don't know about it. This is the half ounce. I really enjoy it. It's kind of like the bigger, better sister to the Clinique Moisture Surge. It's very much a gel cream, but I like this one I think I like this one more. I'm going to be honest. It's a little more moisturizing. It's just, it has better ingredients. I just, I really like it. If you like the Clinique Moisture Surge, then try this because I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I do like this a lot. And I'm using another half ounce. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It, I feel like people either use it as a moisturizer or a primer. I use it more as like a primer. To me, it just kind of like smooths and gives a little boost of moisture. And I've really enjoyed it a lot. It's good. And I'm not a primer person. I'm not those silicone primers or feel disgusting to me. That's not like this at all. The Tone Daily Detox White Clay and Pink Jasmine Body Wash. It, I mean, I'm not going to go buy it again, but I didn't hate it. The Dial Marula Oil Body Wash from the drugstore. It's my drugstore recommendation. Okay, this is the Simply Summer's Eve Coconut Water Gentle Foaming Wash. I have, I'm like right there on it. So I have a tiny bit left, but I like that Sweet Spot brand and I've been looking for it this whole time I've used this container and they've been out at my Target and they finally got it back in stock. So I just decided to move this one on out. I just feel like the Sweet Spot one, I just like it better. This is a foam, and I just don't really like foaming stuff. I just, I, I don't know. I just don't enjoy it. Okay, three body moisturizer products. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. If you watch YouTube, then you probably know all about this. It smells like a million bucks. It is very strongly scented, though. If you're somebody that is, like, very sensitive to strong scents, this is very strongly scented, but it smells amazing. And then um, Coffee Break with Danny, she talks, well, I mean, everybody talks about this, but she talks about this so much. And then she started talking about this. It's the Pistache Skin Care Pistachio Body Butter. Okay, if you're, I know I have a few of you that are fans or of the now discontinued Laura Mercier Pistachio Scent or the Bath & Body Works Brown Sugar and Pear, I think, scent from a few falls ago. This smells like it. It's really good. I was on Facebook after watching her video and an, of course an ad popped up for like a trial kit to try some of their stuff for a discounted price and that's how I got it. It's um, I got two of these. It's a little one ounce body butter. It was a nice way to try it. Okay, the Kiehl's Creme de Core Body Lotion. So I've used the body butter, the whipped body butter that's like soy and milk or something like that scented and it smells so good. It's very creamy and sweet but not overly desserty. and a lot of people I mean there's like a handful of people I follow on social media that act like this is the best body lotion of all times so it was in like a gift set at Nordstrom after the holidays I got this and something else for like five dollars so I thought you know what I'm just gonna try it okay well first off do not ever get this lotion unless it's like in a much bigger container or a pump because it's very thick, and this little thing was hard to squeeze out. It was a pain in the you-know-what. And it just smells... I, I mean, it smells like lotion, but it what, it's not anything amazing. I have this, um... What is it? 
Nivea body lotion I got that I um, saw like Desi Perkins or one of those rave about. I think that's a better body lotion than this and it's at the drugstore. So anyways, that's my take on that. Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I use this as a balm makeup remover. It's one of those solid oil type products you emulsify, smooth over. It's really nice. Uh, I mean, it's very like basic, no frills, but it does the job and I like it. Another body wash. This is the Bath and Body Works Hot Cocoa and Cream Shower Gel. It smelled like its name. It was really enjoyable for the scent in the um, colder months. This is the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. And it's gone, but it was like this gel. It has a pretty strong cucumber scent. And it says it does 5-in-1 things. Um, it's not on this container. And it's one of those masks that I really like to use in the morning. Um, I just felt like it did a little boost for my skin. I can't say it was this legendary... But, it, you know, it's like those resurfacing masks are the ones you can really see, like, a lot of results at once. And it wasn't, you know, that. But I really enjoyed it. I would probably pick it up again. It was nice. The Desert Essence 100% Pure Jojoba Oil. I, if you watch my rosacea stuff, then you probably know about this. I started out using this mixed in with my tea tree oil, half and half, to roll on my rosacea patches. And I really enjoyed it like that. The only reason I haven't repurchased it for that is I have just some other facial oils that I'm trying to use up first, but I would definitely purchase this again for that. It's it's a very good basic oil, but I ended up finishing it off using it on a damp cotton round and, um, gosh, now I hear my dog outside whining to get in, um, to remove my eye makeup and it works really well like that. children and dogs. Let me do my stuff. Okay, this is the Bosha Pink Peppermint Blotting Linens. I really like to have a blotter sheet to blot like halfway through the day. I know a lot of people use toilet paper or paper towels, but if I'm out, I don't have like a roll of paper towel in my purse. So it's, these are, you know, much smaller and portable. So they're nice to have. I since purchased the Target brand of the clean and clear version those little blue sheets and they're working really nice these I got from Amazon it was like a bulk pack it's DHC revitalizing moisture strips for eyes they're okay they're kind of like the skin ice loan ones just not as plush and luxe so skin ice loan is a little bit step above and this is a step below but I mean if you like I mean but it's fun it's nice to have eye gels to use whenever you want okay, vitamin C I have a big proponent of vitamin C I noticed a huge change in my skin when I started incorporating it and the drunk elephant C firm a day serum I have really enjoyed really really enjoyed I'm just trying to like find something else that's a little more on the budget friendly end it's really nice, but I just, it lasts me about four months. So then I had this mini, which I'd used another, um, like a more deluxe size of this CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum from Sunday Rally. And I really like this, but I hear that you go through this even more quickly than this. And I think the CEO is actually a teeny bit more expensive. I do think this is nice. It's more lotion-y. The Drunk Elephant is more gel. But, you know, it's more expensive, so I don't want to get into that. I'm using right now a sample of the Mario Badescu vitamin C one, which coincidentally is on sale today at Ulta. And I like it. I just don't know if I want to purchase it. I don't know. It's just kind of how I feel about vitamin C right now. Okay, just a few more things, and then we're going to be into, like, samples and wax. Okay, a few mascaras. The L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Waterproof. Once upon a time, the Voluminous Carbon Black was my favorite mascara, especially from the drugstore. It's been a while since I've tried it, and I just don't like it like I once did. It's nasty. There's an eyelash on that. This is the wand. It just, I don't know. It just didn't wow me, and it could be the waterproof version. And then 
tuple sizes, the Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mega, Mega Volume Mineral Base Mascara. This one was really nice, but let me see if I can show you. Of course it doesn't show. It would, when I would take it out, it would have, you see, like so much product. Kind of like that Milk Kush Mascara. I mean, just tons of product. So it was a little messy, but it made for a really pretty lash. Like really, really pretty. It's nice. I have another tube because I had bought a two pack on sale. And then the Hourglass Caution. When I first got this for the first week, I hated it. And then it dried out and I liked it a lot more. It has a really, I guess, narrow wand. I did enjoy it, but since I used these up, I pulled out a sample of the Chanel Volume de Chanel. I think that's what it's called. And I've used that in the past and really enjoyed it. And I'm so happy to have it back. I I really like it. I, it's my favorite high-end mascara. It's been a while since I've used it, but I do much prefer it to this. But these were both really nice. Okay, the Luna Sleeping Oil by Sunday Riley. This is just the mini. Okay, so I got this mini a while back, and I really started liking it. And then I got the, um, like the full size, but the smaller full size in a cell. And then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get to it by the time that it would be fresh so I sold it on Poshmark because there's just you know it's one of those like you just keep buying and buying and buying but are you going to be able to use this stuff up before it can go bad I don't know and so I just didn't want that to happen and then I finished this up and I was kind of wishing I hadn't sold it because I kind of enjoyed it but I don't I don't know I wish I could buy like this size to use every once in a while the intelligent nutrients hand sanitizer it's a spray I did not like this it smells like lemon Ugh, I did not I did not like the smell let me rephrase that okay and then the hat husk charcoal purifying shampoo this was a really nice um clarifying shampoo from the drugstore no complaints while I'm on this I think I have a sample of something I can tell you I might have threw it away it's that, or did I, yeah, here it is, okay. The Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Triple Detox Shampoo, hair and scalp shampoo. A friend of mine likes this. She thinks it's amazing. I thought this was the worst shampoo I've, I've ever used in my life. I hated it, I hated it. I used it twice, I had another sample and threw the other sample away because I didn't want to ever have to use it again. It, I, I just can't even explain what it, noise what is that sounds like a million planes are going over my house I can't even tell you what it did or didn't do it was just not I, I just didn't like it this was better than this and I use clarifying shampoo all the time so I've tried quite a few I'm using the Kenra one right now which I think is amazing um, so try the husk or the Kenra before this in my personal opinion but, you know, everybody's hair is different, and, I mean, I don't know. I've used a lot of clarifying shampoo, and even, like, the freaking suave one, I like more than this. So, anyways, okay. Let's see. I have three sheet masks. The Dr. Jar Sarah Midden Facial Mask Intense Moisturizing Sheet Mask. I loved this. Loved it. There for a while, I was hearing a lot about this or this line, and I got this from Sephora. It's sold out pretty often. Really good. I will be getting more of these. And then I love this one. Y'all know it's the Leaders AC Clear Treatment Mask. Anytime I have some breakouts, I pop one of these on and I feel like it just kind of calms everything down and starts everything healing and going away. Um, I love this. I mean, it's probably my favorite sheet mask because it's just so good. Okay, then a few little samples. This the Chanel Ultra Latent um, foundation. I did not like this. I used a sample of B10. It was a little light, but based on what they, you know, the samples, that was the closest one. I just didn't like the foundation. It just, I, I didn't think it was pretty. The You To The People Kel Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I really like this. I've never bought the full size, but I've had a mini and some samples and I liked it. And then the You To The People, the Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. 
and it has the ashwagandha and reishi mushroom. I really liked this. I had been curious about this for a really long time. It was very moisturizing, very hydrating, but without being just like, you know, greasy. It, it was just in very intensely moisturizing, more so than this, but I've been using this day and night and it's great, but I wouldn't mind having this for the nighttime. Okay, then now for fragrance. I had, okay, these are all new from Walmart. They're new spring waxes. I picked up three scents, the Better Homes and Gardens Strawberry Pretzel Bars. Okay, I picked up two of each. And needless to say, I'm just kind of like, eh, on all of them. Kind of like a strawberry bar with, I guess, a crust. I mean, it, it smelled okay. I don't know. Unicorn Cake, the packaging is beautiful. It was, it was more of like a fruity you know what that smells like? It smells like Fruit Loops. And then cake batter ice cream. It was another pretty packaging. And this was just generic sweet scent. I, this was my favorite out of all of them. And then my older daughter talked my mom into buying her a new wallflower scent for her and Vera's hallway. And it's the Mango Mai Tai. Would not have been my first pick. But um, she really likes it. She likes those fruity scents. It's, you know, it's okay. Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. I'm just not having luck with their candles lately. They're just like not putting out scent. The wicks are drowning. I don't know. And then lastly, this, okay. It's a diptyque candle. And when I show you this, you're going to be like, holy suit, soot. It's the ombre scent. Okay. Yes, I trim my wax, wick, wicks, yes. But do you see all the soot that that makes? But this scent, oh god, it like makes up for it. The scent is amazing. Heavenly. Oh, it smells so good. If you like amber scents, just do yourself a favor and buy yourself one of these. Wrap it up, put it under the Christmas tree, whatever, you know, you need to do. It smells amazing. The scent is he heavenly. But I was just really disappointed in that because it's not like, I don't know why I got like that. But anyways, the scent is amazing. I wish they would put it in like a perfume. I would douse myself in that. It smells like a million bucks. So, okay, that's all for my empties for this month. I hope you enjoyed what have you used up lately. And hopefully I see you again before April empties. So that's all guys. Bye.